today's video is a pet shop haul so I'm going to show you what I bought today so in this bag it's stuff for the cockatiels so first of all I bought them one of these fruity uh, honey sticks which they absolutely love these treat sticks um, so you hook that onto the cage and they love nibbling at that I also got them out oh, here. Oh yeah, just some general cockatiel seed mix, which has in it lots of different types of grains. The black things there are like um, sunflower seeds. Um, so yeah, they like that particular food. Um, and then I've got this. You can use it for food, but I'm actually going to use it for water. The reason being, I'll show you actually. So here's the bird cage. They're not in it because they're up there at the minute. Can you see them? But the reason why I bought that tube for water is because at the moment their water is in one of these. And unfortunately what they do is when they sit on there, they end up doing a number one and sometimes a number two in there. And then they drink the water, which isn't great. So for that reason, I have bought this one. So we'll see how they get on with that. So that's the stuff for the birds, that's that bag. And then in this bag, kind of for the birds as well, this is just sunflower seeds on their own. Um, Gaylord really, really, really loves these. So I am, got, speaking of Gaylord, look, there's the dog wanting to play with him. <laughs> Aww, they don't want to play, Jiffy. I know, you just want to make friends, don't you? I know. <laughs> well, maybe one day they'll play. That's enough. So anyway, Jiffy, what's this? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is mix some of this into here. But what I can also do is use this for the gerbil. So that will be split between the two. Similarly with this here. This is fruit, nuts and veg mix. And again, I can use it for the birds. But I can also use it for the gerbils. And this, do you know what? It looks good enough to eat. Like sprinkled on top of um, breakfast cereal. But you can see the ingredients are beautiful. Diced pineapple, papaya, raisins, banana chips, coconut, pumpkin seeds, peanuts, Brazil nuts, mixed dried vegetables, walnuts, rose hip. Cranberries, dates, berries, dried carrot rings. So the birds and the gerbils will hopefully enjoy that. Now, look at this. We're not going to hear a peep out. The dog wants to get these out. So here, I buy these for the dog once a week. And this is their favourite treat of all time. This, These are chicken feet, dried ones. And they love it. Watch this. You know you're hearing all that noise from Jiffy? Well, you won't hear a peep out of him. Oh, what's this? Yes, you know, sit down nicely then. Sit down, sit. Good boy. Off you go, oh, and Lulu, she's come for hers because they know what it is. Lulu, do you want one? Sit down, sit. And look, both gone into the toggy caravan. Lulu will probably come in in a minute, but Jiffy's straight in the doggy caravan. And he will munch away on that for a good, well, until it's finished really. It'll take him about 15 minutes to finish it. Lulu's a bit faster. She's thinking about going in the doggy caravan. But there they are, munching away. Bear in mind, Jiffy hasn't really got any teeth left. He's got about two left. Um, he can still enjoy these because they're not too hard. And there's Lulu, she's very pleased with that. And there are the birds. Gaylord. So sorry, coming back to the haul. So they're there for next week. They just get one a week of those. And then this final bag here, this is mainly for the gerbil. So similar to this um, treat stick that I've got for the birds, I've got one for the hamsters. It's pretty much the same ingredients to be honest. You could probably need to change them, but there's two sticks in there. They absolutely adore these, they're the favourite. Here, I've got some bedding. They put this actually inside their bed um, and they arrange it the way they want. I just get a big blob of it, put it in the cage and then they make the bed with it the way they want. I've also got this, which again is for bedding and burrowing and nesting. But the reason, oh, there we go, look. <sighs> Queen's going for a fly. The reason I've got this one as well is because I like to give them a variety of different textures 
um, to, to just uh, play with and, and stimulate them. So I, they have this, they have this, they have hay, they have straw, they have tissue, they have paper, they have toilet roll tubes. I always save my toilet roll tubes for them. Um, and I've got this, which is Harry Hamster Mix, but you can also use it for gerbils. It's pretty much the same thing. And then finally in here, we have um, a hamster ball. And the reason why I've bought this particular one, we have already got one, um, but the gerbils have to take it in turns, one at a time, going in the ball. So I thought, well, if I get a second one, they can both play out uh, at the same time in a ball each. So there you go, guys. You've seen my pet shop haul for all three lots of pets. We have two dogs, two gerbils, and two cockatiels. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'll show you the dogs before we go. You won't hear a peep. Look at that. Absolutely devouring the chicken feet there. There we go. They're not gonna say bye because they're too busy eating. Bye guys, say bye Gaylord, bye.